Hey guys, it's Zane here. Welcome to another episode of Battlefield 4. Um, now I'm posting some uh, some more Rush gameplay. This is on Dawnbreaker. Uh, I'm pil or driving the LAV right now. I end up getting uh, a little bit of a kill streak. Up here in a little bit, um, I actually come around a corner and just see like fucking at least five or six guys. I tried to road kill them, but it didn't. It didn't work. Not right there. There's trust me. There's another spot where it's a lot worse. So I, it actually looked like my LAV just flo flies over the guys because they were at the end of the stairs, which kind of sucks. But yeah, I was uh, I was playing this and I actually ended up getting in the lobby with uh, with some guys that were pretty big assholes. Um, I was in uh, right now. I'm the gunner of the the LAV. No big deal. But then later on, our LAV gets blown up. Nobody's repping. Not really that big of a deal, you know. Maybe there's no engineers, but. I spawned into another LAV. I actually spawned into it like right as it popped up because I was trying to be the uh, the driver again. Spawned in as gunner. I ended up getting like 10 kills in it. And then the guy that's driving just tells me, get out, get out, get out. Just keeps telling me to get out. I'm pretty sure it's just because I was just wrecking on people, just getting all the fucking kills or something. I don't know. But And then as soon as I get out, this guy that is in my gunner right now, sorry like Atari, just I get out to rep the LAV and he just steals my fucking seat. I ask him to get out and nope, they just drive off. They died instantly, um, so that was funny. And I got to say that's what you get for having a shitty gunner. But um, you know what? Um, if you piss me off in Battlefield, uh, I'm gonna say something to you. But don't be an asshole, guys. If you have someone that's in your gunner that is fucking shit up, be happy that you actually have a good gunner. I even tried to get out and rep some bitch. But anyway, I'm actually, um, other than the LEV, I'm actually using a uh, Ace 21 CQB, uh, which is a carbine. Uh, I actually did not like this carbine for a while. Thought it was very weird. The uh, uh, it seemed like it missed a lot. Like it pulled to the right or pulled to the left. It, it just seemed weird. Like I was wasn't able to get uh, the accuracy that I wanted with the gun. Um, more as I've been using it more, I have about. 300 kills probably three four hundred kills with it now and I love it it's an awesome an awesome carbine uh, my favorite carbines so far are the AK5C which is the very first one you unlock uh, it's very easy to use which is one of my the reasons why I like it so much and then the um, the SG553 which is another amazing uh, carbine which has really fast fire rate but uh, it's actually pretty manageable pretty easy to pretty easy to manage the recoil on that. Um, I actually stopped using both of those guns just because I've already gotten master dog tags with them. Uh, it's not that I like, oh, once I get mastery, I'm just trying to get mastery on all the guns, but I actually want to use all the guns at least a little bit. So I'm working on the Ace uh, 21, among other carbines as well. But all right, guys, um, I'll probably be doing another a review for the, the Ace 21 CQB. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see some reviews on any other guns or carbines, anything like that. Um, any secondaries as well. Uh, I have all the secondaries unlocked and I've gotten quite a bit of kills. Uh, I actually got 500 kills with my M9, which I love that pistol. But let me know what you guys want to see. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like and go ahead and also subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe for more videos like it. Alright guys, be sure to check us out in the next one, and I'll see you there.
Alpha. 